Hi. Uh, today we're going to talk about return to a topic, which was one of the first ones that we did in this series. Uh, and tonight we're going to talk about uh, Michio Kaka, Einstein, and God. That is, the relationship between uh, science, faith, uh, religion. Uh, a lot of people had the impression, because many uh, scientists are atheists, although they're uh, scientists who are theists, uh, that somehow science itself uh, predisposes uh, atheism. But let's look at two people who are fairly well known. Of course, Albert Einstein, who's one of the great scientists of the 20th century. Uh, he's known for saying something like, God did roll dice with the universe. Now, uh, people say that, that Einstein's impression of God is not the uh, maybe uh, God of the Old Testament, the God of the New Testament, that is that personal God, that interventionist God, the God of awareness of man and love of man and involvement, which uh, is so typical of religion in our culture, they will say that Einstein's impression of God is more like a deist God, a God who created the world, set up its rules, and let it, and then let, left it alone. Uh, and that, that's why science is enough, because its concern is finding those rules by which the uh, universe operates. Now, even this vision is a little different than the impression that many people in everyday life have about God, uh, God and science, because many people believe that all of this is just kind of a glorious randomness. But of course, if it really were random, other than as a purely technical mathematical description, then science would not be possible. I mean, it, it, well, perhaps we'd have quantum uh, physics then. But surely the idea that is very clear and, uh, and Michio Kaka uh, said this at one point, that the idea that you know the universe was set up and has rules and that someone had put those rules in place, uh, that that was, that was kind of self-evident uh, in the universe. But what, but what he couldn't accept is the elaborate set of rules uh, that many religions have that go beyond that point. Because those things, he said, you could not discern uh, from science. And perhaps this explains some of the uh, actual uh, distance between faith and science. You can deduce from reason, you can see from reason, that the universe may have been set up and that it functions under a certain set of rules. But perhaps you can't deduce with the same degree of, uh, of certainty uh, the belief that God is uh, loving or uh, of, of man and that there's some kind of intervention or some kind of relationship that God has with a man. Uh, for this, people of faith uh, depend upon revelation or people who uh, have had some experience, personal experience, of knowing uh, God. And this, is, this, for science, is a very difficult thing. Is how do you reproduce that in the lab? But uh, basically, I think what we have to recognize is that as a starting point, there isn't as much of a gulf between uh, uh, science and religion as we thought, at least if it goes to the, the idea that there's order in the world and that that order is part of a design and that because of design, a designer. Now that basic concept is a little different than the more expansive uh, concept that is known in America in creationism, but that would be another story. Thank you.